Who needs Linux when you can just use the Windows command prompt, though? I mean, who cares about Linux? This is cybersecurity expert hacker. Oh, yeah, confidentiality. Oh, yeah. What the heck? Attention. You use Windows, not cybersecurity bro. Is someone trying to hack my machine? Oh, no. Do I have an attacker? Oh, no. Ah. Now that was some class A acting right there. Hey, what's up guys? Grant Collins here, and I am back with the career series for cybersecurity. Today we're gonna to be talking about an instant responder and uh, what this position does and what it details. So without further ado, let's get started. Overall, an instant responder addresses security incidents and rapid, rapid threats within an organization. So usually they are dealing with internal alerts within an organization, but oftentimes they can also do external alerts as well. An instant responder has several different responsibilities and Oftentimes, an instant responder is going to do some of the following. It's going to actively monitor networks for intrusions. It's going to identify and probe for security flaws and vulnerabilities, perform security audits, risk analysis, network forensics, and basic pen testing, perform malware analysis and reverse engineering, develop and follow a playbook with a set of responsibilities for security problems, establish protocols for communication within an organization, perform gap assessments, create policies, procedures, playbooks, and complete training, and produce instant response reports for management. So an instant responder is gonna do a ton of different things. And in fact, I actually have someone in my audience who reached out to me who is an instant responder himself. His name is James, and I had the chance to talk to him briefly about his day-to-day -day responsibilities. So without further ado, Let's see what he does on a day-to-day -day basis. Today, he is an individual who works in incident response. And, and James, a lot of people wonder, what is instant response and what do you do on a day-to-day -day basis uh, as someone who is in incident response? So uh, the quick definition of incident response, uh, honestly, is whenever a security incident happens, we're the people who come in and we figure out the who, what, when, where, and why, and we try to stop the bleeding, uh, whether that's a compromised account or help our servers are dumping everything to the internet. Uh, we stop the bleeding, and then we figure out the who, what, when, why, and where. And, you know, write reports and such. Gotcha. As far as my day-to-day -day role, um, pretty much anybody who is in cybersecurity can tell you that most of our roles have the caveat of additional roles as needed. So uh, you get to do a little bit of cross-functional there, especially as incident response. Usually I come in, I monitor our uh, mailboxes for reports from end users, uh, whether that's outside of the company or inside. Um, these users can report anything from, I think there's a virus on my computer to hey, I think I got a phishing email. And then beyond that, I also monitor our um, event logs, our actual event tickets that come in, and I just do some basic triage, which triage is uh, figuring out what's going on and stopping the bleeding. Thank you, James, for outlining your responsibilities. I appreciate that. Uh, I think a lot of people within the industry wonder what instant response is, and oftentimes they have no idea. So I appreciate you giving your day-to-day uh, -day responsibilities there. Now, when it comes to an instant responder, oftentimes their salary is going to be anywhere between $70,000 and $115,000 US and in the United States and depends on the geographic location. Now, for past job requirements, oftentimes instant responders are required to have two to five years experience Degree recommendations include anything related to the computer science field, which can include cybersecurity, computer security forensics, computer science, uh, computer information systems, basically anything pertaining to IT in general. And for certifications, oftentimes our recommended is going to be the Certified Computer Examiner, Certified Ethical Hacker, GAIC, Certified Forensic Examiner, Analyst, Incident Handler, Incident Analyst, 
certified computer forensics examiner, certified pen penetration testing uh, certification, certified reverse engineering analyst, and then you have the standard like OSCP uh, and also even like the Security Plus or even the CISSP if you have five years experience. So, so many different certifications that you can do within uh, the incident response world. Now, when it comes to hard skills, and of course, never look over those soft skills, but when it comes to hard skills, oftentimes incident responders need to look at the following when they are uh, working with incident response, which include Windows, Unix, and Linux operating systems, working with C, C++, PHP, Bash, PowerShell, having a thorough knowledge of the TCP IP stack, understanding computer hardware and networking, uh, familiar with backup and archiving technologies. They have a familiarity with web-based application security. They know how to work with forensic software applications. They have a detailed understanding of SEMS and other monitoring systems. Uh, they have a knowledge of cloud computing and they know how to perform OS installations, patching, and configurations. So an incident responder is going to do so many different things and oftentimes uh, those are the hard skills that you have to have in general for an instant response position. That is it for today's video. If you guys have found this helpful, please consider subscribing. And once again, thank you, James, for outlining your responsibilities.